am I paying $50 extra when I already have an $80 palette that I can do with the stuff I have? Welcome back my beautiful queens to go Jess and today's video I'm going to be teaching you something that a lot of brands don't want you to know a lot of cosmetic stores don't want you to know but I want you to know because I want you to save your money and it's something that I'm sure you already have so let's get to it so I know a lot of you guys see on the internet and the internet I, I sound so freaking old when I say that like on TikTok and Instagram and all that you see like how someone gets an eyeshadow stick that is meant for the eyes instead of using a normal eyeshadow well it's so easy how to do that and you can do that in the comfort of your own home okay okay I'm just gonna give it up <laughs> give it up it's me i win you lose ha <laughs> anyways <laughs> tiktok has got to me so basically this video is showing you how to turn a normal eyeshadow into a cream eyeshadow a powder eyeshadow i should say so it's so easy and something that i actually once just tried just for fun and it ended up working i'm like why the hell don't i do this and then with a bit more research i found out that 99 percent of brands actually do this to create a cream eyeshadow so i'm like why am i paying 50 dollars extra when i already have an 80 dollar palette that i can do with the stuff i have hmm. so you need a concealer i'm just using this Too faced concealer and I just put it on the back of my hand. You can use it on a tray or whatever you want. You don't need too much. I put way too much. I wish nothing but the best for you too. Anyways, as you see, singing is my specialty. So I'm taking this Visart palette. I love these palettes. And pick any shade you want. I'm thinking because I want something cute. I'm gonna pick this shade here. It's like a nice brown. Now what you wanna do is you wanna scrape the palette. Look, I know it's sad, but it's okay. We'll get through it. It might not look aesthetically pleasing, but come on, it's fine. And you really just wanna, I'm just gonna keep scraping. So I'm happy. If you really think about it, this is gonna help you anyway because usually when you scrape out your the first layer of the eyeshadow, you can actually get more pigment. So you're welcome. Okay, let's say I have that much. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm really just gonna start mixing it together. So I literally just scrape it like that and then I just like dust it off. Okay, I have, I don't even have primer on my eyelids. I should have done that actually. And I'm really just gonna be putting this all along my eyelid. I really should put concealer under my eyes because uh, the girl is a little bit, <laughs> has a little bit of dark circles. Literally, look at that. I really, really like this. It's so easy. You can literally use any eyeshadow color that you have. A bit of concealer, it can be any concealer that you have. Just mix them together. I would prefer like a lighter concealer if you have one, although I have tried it with dark concealers and it still works. The color will literally look the same and if you want more pigment like i said just go in with some powder this also works with blush it works with bronzer it works with like anything that you have that you want to turn from powder to cream let me know if you want me to show you how i do my blush but i really wanted to share this with you because i feel like you deserve to know and it just glides on it looks so effortless it does last on all day and instead of spending eight dollars on a cream stick use what you got sis is what you got that's all for this video it's really short sweet and simple let me yeah. <laughs> please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it and let me know why you didn't like it so i can improve and i will see you in my next video make sure to subscribe bye